this is one of the toughest places on earth to survive. And if I'm honest, I'm dreading this one. Here we go. And my camera crew is coming with me. Stay still and you'll freeze to death in minutes. You've got to keep moving and get to lower ground as fast as you can. And I've got a friend who's climbing and he pulled out an ice screw from his pack, put it in his mouth to do up the zip again. And in those couple of seconds, the ice screw froze solid to his lips. And by the time he'd peeled it off, his lips, his tongue, his mouth was just pouring with blood. You see what I mean? See, look, just sticks, absolutely solid. If I tried to peel that off, it would actually pull some of the skin away. But the way to get it off is just to pee on it. Like that. And the knife will drop off. Something my friend with the ice screw in his mouth couldn't do. Fighting your way down this burns up precious energy. You've got to refuel to stay alive. A dead fir tree can provide you with some vital nourishment. Soya beetles live under the rotting bark, and it's about all you'll find round here. There you go, look, here's a little something. See that? Meet him. See if there are any more of his family inside. In the cold, getting food is key to staying alive. The remains of this carcass would have been left by hunters. So there's lots still on here that I can use. I'm going to have a bit of this. That is going to be delicious. Man alive. That is beautiful. Mm. Venison's packed with protein and it will replace some of the calories I'm burning up. And really, there's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. It's a privilege, really. But I can't afford to hang around, because really I need to use as much of this as I can for what I'm planning to make. <sighs> and look at this. A really good size fur. This is how to make a toboggan the bear way. And my kids are always hassling me to make them these sort of things. So concentrate. And what I'm hoping is if I leave this overnight, by the morning, it'll be rock hard and good to use as a toboggan. <laughs> the valley drains into one of Siberia's many massive lakes. In winter, they freeze but I don't know if the ice can take my weight. And I've had that happen to me before. With my best friend, we were in Ireland on a frozen lake, stupidly. And the ice just dropped under our feet. And he got completely cut all across his chest, blood everywhere. And we were pretty lucky to make it out of there. And it makes me pretty cautious now with lakes like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the crew to help me dig a big hole go in under the ice and show what it's like under there and how hard it is to then get out. And I'm going to leave my socks on just because if I try and stand on this ice with bare skin, it will stick. If you don't see me come out of that ice within 20 seconds, pull on this rope. Serious, you just pull on it, okay? Once in, there's no turning back, and I've got to keep going, trying to reach the light of the thinner ice. But the cold is literally squeezing the air out of me. I'm at my very limit now. Feels like they're going like frozen solid. Okay, but I need to get out of here now. I need, I need to do this first time. <sighs> 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 what 
I can do is just use some of this powder snow and it might look a little bit crazy, but what it does is it absorbs a lot of the moisture. Gotta get warm, gotta get dry, and gotta get closer. And look at that, my sock. Been out about 30 seconds and already all of that is frozen. That is how cold I am right now. That is not to be repeated. If you're gonna spend the night in a cave, you've gotta make sure there are no predators lurking around. I've made a torch to check for signs of bears or wolves. And you can just see him on the end of my thumb there. Actually, he's quite a good size mosquito. In the short Siberian summer, this place crawls with mozzies. But right now, there's only a few for me. Slim pickings, but something to see you through the night. It's first light. I've got to get on the move and get warm. Dragging this up here. But look, you see this toboggan? It's just like frozen, deep frozen solid overnight. And I reckon down this sort of face, this is going to go like a rocket. Let's go. It's a risky strategy. If I come off at speed, I could break a leg, but I'm going for it. And at least I'm covering ground super fast. And I do not want to be man hauling this sled. I'm on my way. Guys, we're gonna have to move! One last sprint, and I should be able to leap aboard. But if you can find the willpower and the determination, it's possible to make it out alive. Thank you.